What's worse than the little Mars rover spirit losing his poor will three years ago? It old age and memory loss! Today on Planetary Television. Welcome back, everyone. My name is Errol Coder, and this is Planetary Television. Now, my mother always told me that the mine's the last thing to go. Unfortunately, for the Mars Exploration Rover Spirit, that's just not so. If you recall on my April 13th update of the Mars Exploration Rovers, the Spirit Rover had undergone some memory issues on the weekend of the April 11th and 12th. Unfortunately, he did it again. After three days of completing Earth Command activities without incident last week, NASA's Mars Exploration Rover Spirit had a bout of temporary amnesia Friday, April 17th, and rebooted its computer Saturday, April 18th behavior similar to the events about a week earlier, about last week on April 13th, that I reported on. Now, engineers operating Spirit are investigating the reboots and the possibly unrelated amnesia events in which Spirit unexpectedly fails to record data into the type of memory called flash, like your flash card that you use for your personal computer, where information is preserved even when power is off. Spirit has had three of these amnesia events in the past 10 days, plus one on January 25th, which happens to be my birthday. No casual link has been determined between the amnesia events and the reboots. The most recent reboot put Spirit back into an autonomous operations mo mode in which the rover keeps itself healthy. Spirit experienced no problems in this autonomous mode in, on Sunday. The rover team at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Pasadena, California, revised plans today, April 20th, for regaining con Earth control of Spirit's operations and resuming diagnostic and recovery activities by the rover. So that means, unfortunately, uh, probably between now and last week, na uh, we may not have any new images uh, sent in from Spirit because no operations have been getting through for it to be commanded to take pictures. But keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully we're going to have some pictures. Now, this has been said by uh, NASA. We are proceeding cautiously, but we are encouraged by knowing the spirit is stable in terms of power and thermal conditions and have been responding to all communication sessions for more than a week now, said JPL's Sharon LeBach, chief of the rover sequencing team, which develops and checks each day's set of commands. During the past week of diagnostic activities, the rover has successfully moved its high-gain dish antenna and its camera mast, part of the checking whether any mechanical issues with those components may be related to the reboots, the amnesia events, or the failure to wake up for three consecutive communication sessions uh, two weeks ago. Spirit and its twin rover, Opportunity, completed their original three-month prime missions on Mars in April 2004, which happens to be five years ago this month, and have continued their scientific investigations on opposite sides of the planet through multiple mission extensions. Engineers have found ways to cope with the various symptoms of the aging on both rovers, 
For instance, three years ago, Spirit's forward left wheel stopped functioning. So if you notice, notice on any of the pictures that I will show you later on in this, uh, this news update, the left wheel is dragging the dirt. So the right wheel is actually pulling it for the most part. Now, the current diagnostic efforts with Spirit are aimed at either recovering undiminished use of the rover or, if some capabilities have been diminished, to determine the best way to keep using the, the rover. The box said, for example, if we do determine that we can no longer use the flash memory reliably, we could design operations around using the random access memory. You know, the RAM memory that's very similar to, you know, your home computer. Spirit has 128 megabytes of random access memory, or again, RAM, which can store data as long as the rover is kept awake before its next downlink communication section. So this means a few things. Number one, don't expect to be able to play EverQuest or Lord of the Rings Online with Spirit. He doesn't have enough RAM. Secondly, this means that any images or any information that's going to be stored on Spirit's RAM must be transmitted to, you know, to either the the orbiting uh, orbiters or immediately using the high gain antenna transmitted back to Earth. Once once the you know if the downlink communication fails and the rover has to go into sleep mode, which basically pretty much powers down all the non uh, the non essential information, all of that image, all all the information gathered that day will be wiped, just like a computer's RAM. So anything that they do that for that day will have to be transmitted during the next downlink communication session. Very crucial and that is one of the major problems with Spirit losing its flash memory. Because just like on your home computer, if you have a flash stick, a flash memory stick, you can pop it into the USB on your computer. Save all the memory onto your disk. Take it out. There's no power stored within that flash drive but you can st the memory is still there. It's non-volatile, you know, non-volatile memory. You would not lose that memory if it's not connected to your computer. But with random access memory, once you power down your computer, you lose all the temporary information that's stored on the RAM. Again, it's going to be very crucial for any information that we need to transmit it back to Earth to be done before the next, well, by the next downlink communications before Mars goes into sleep mode. So, get your uh, coffee ready for Spirit. We gotta keep him awake, uh, keep him going, so he can send off the information. I want to take these last couple of minutes to show you a few of the panoramas that I pieced together over the from the images of the op uh, Opportunity and Spirit rovers from the last week. Uh, that have been released. There's some beautiful pictures, some beautiful panoramas of showing where both Opportunity and Spirit is at this point. I, if anyone wishes the full files for any of these panoramas, such as the one that's being shown, these ones being shown right now, which are combined of over 56 separate images. If you have, if you want the full files, please send your email to planetarytv at gmail.com and I will send off the original files to you. And as a reminder, we are still waiting for the results from the Titan flyby. We should be receiving images hopefully within the next couple of days. And Planetary Television is on Twitter. Make sure you visit uh, Twitter slash Planetary TV and be updated daily on anything that goes on. Thank you for joining me for Planetary Television. This is Errol Coder, and always remember, keep looking up.